Hello, welcome back. <clears throat> okay, we've got a few things to do. We have things to do, which is to buy research. start just unlocking units which one improves well, you get a bonus for having rivers Oh, here we go. Colonies with a river going through their domain generate plus 10 food. Let's go with that. That way I'll get the bonus for this river and then when I take this tile, which will probably be the next tile I take, I'll also get another 10 food because there's a river. I need two more colonists to take that. Of course, if I produce a colonizer, it's going to use up a colonist, so I should probably take the tile first and then build the colonizer. Queue this up. Does it actually take the colonist straight away? It does. The mere act of queuing stuff up actually takes the uh, takes the resources. So you don't want to actually pre-queue up these units. There we go. This is actually a quicker way to link up. There we go. Okay, we got some bugs that are defending a research bonus. So let's just go and kill them as well. I love how it, like, sticks you on orders required forever. Even though you've moved as far as you can move in one direction, but since you can still move in another direction, the game is like, you haven't moved this unit! So it seems at the moment, like, the only thing that's left for me to do is to increase my population so I can take another sector, or build a colonization uh, droid so I can colonize another sector. So I think I should do both of those things, but do them in a kind of order. Okay, that infrastructure is done.
20 more production. Not bad. Uh, this thing restores your movement. Well, there's a health restore thing here. Cosmite Rift. There's actually a load of heal stations here as well. All units in the collecting army, including commanders and heroes, rank up by a single level. That's pretty cool. I needed to... I should have upgraded the mods on these. I'll do that after this battle. <coughs> Actually, changing mods... Oh, it causes you to deal less damage for one turn as well. Unit becomes 15% harder to hit and gains detection. Additionally, one extra armor. Wow, that's pretty cool as well. Shields reduce incoming damage. Armor reduces incoming damage. Okay, so it's like two kinds of armor. I'm still very much in a discovery phase with this game. Plated. I'll do. I've been plated! So even though I'll do less damage, these units are really not very scary, so I will still kill them. <sighs> Unless the penalty is like your damage is halved or something, it's not going to be an issue. Operations ready. placed in a really stupid position here. Enemy is completely melee based. So, come at me, bro, as it were. It 
Hey, they went for it. Wow, that was friendly fire. Poison spitter is really not that interesting. Nanites. Fifty-five. Enemy down. Dabbed two bits. Use the frags. Look at those beautiful action points being drained away. Oh yeah, that looked like it hurt. Still alive. Finish him. Okay, good. Enemy annihilated. Pop. <laughs> Popped like a zit. Okay, so these guys have only got one action point, so I highly doubt they can do anything too meaningful with one AP. Oof. That was one-sided. Enemy down. Let's use a frag grenade here. No, can't throw it far enough. Just gonna throw it behind. Our forces are victorious. Once those guys get into melee with you, they're actually quite dangerous. Nice level ups for everybody. What is this? New recruits, if you come to prove yourself to the great Huai Yang, I guess is his name, and his Emerald Squad. Huey, is it really you? How did you survive for such a long time? Impossible! My family is dead. If my father was still alive, he would shoot you himself. Oh no, it pains me to see that my brother decided to conceal the truth about my cryosleep mission. I am truly your father's sister and I can prove it. There is an interlocking pendant. Yeah, there's always a family heirloom that proves the one true lineage, isn't there? This is like comic book tropes. Seriously. <clears throat> oh 
Okay. Complete one of these objectives. Defeat him or alliance reached. Gain a vanguard laser tank and an imperial behemoth. A tier 4 vehicle. Which I guess is an actual hero vehicle because it doesn't seem to have a health amount set. Okay, none of these boys are actually injured, so I don't really need the health station. More bugs. Destroyer. Search it. I hope this pendant of yours is made of tricordium. Tracking devices. These are fresh hopper hound tracks. I suspect one of those creatures scavenged your pendant. What a surprise. Objective completed. Thanks for the reward, boys. That engineer will just have to sit there as a spare unit. Still says I need two more colonists. I suppose I don't really want to cut any any population from generating anything else because I've only got one in each category. Basically, I just want to grab this sector and then I want to start making a colony vehicle so I can really start expanding. But I guess from what I've you know, what I've learned here, the best thing to do is to actually just take one sector and then immediately build a colonizing vehicle like I did in a tutorial. It seems to be a quicker way to expand. Okay, we're at a move point, so we ain't going there this turn. You aren't going anywhere this turn. Leveled up. Probably should have spent my precious resources, you know, putting mods on my heroes first, but anyway. <clears throat> we love the men. We give them only the best equipment. Our leaders are uh, are left wondering why they're not getting anything. <laughs> okay, let's go with five percent more accuracy. Oh, and it, you can get five percent more, or I can start working on extra range damage. Does it actually list my stats here? Yeah. 
it's more important to hit than it is to actually like increasing your damage by 10% is only going to add 1.3 damage right but extra hit chance especially with extra crit chance I mean it's 10% more chance to hit plus 10% more chance to crit seems like an overall stronger pick 100% chance to hit now, instead of 90. Don't know where it lists your crit chance. I guess I want to take this sector to get the Cosmite Rift. Since mods apparently use a lot of it. Makes sense to me. No, nope, just sit there. You are a spare unit. When collected, instantly produce one of two randomly picked colony upgrades. That might be worth going to grab as well. Okay, there he is. I'm out of move points. Let's go. Operations ready. I do like these support stations, it's nice and inexpensive. Do what you do best, men! quite strong. I don't know if I can tell how much health this cover has. these bugs can hit air units. Either. Oh, air leap. Maybe. Yeah, okay, they can hit air units. I was a fool to think that they wouldn't be able to hit air units. Oh god, there's the sound of someone drilling now. I hope that isn't I hope that isn't too strongly heard on the microphone but someone has just decided to start drilling their wall for some reason. All right. Just deciding whether I want to kill it or uh Or mark it. Or grenade it. Whoa, what happened there? Okay, good, nothing.
paint him. Go. Oof. I'm sure that woke him up. Oof. Enemy eliminated. Okay. It's not so bad. I bought that, uh, you know, since I bought that auto repair for both of my heroes, some grazing damage will be very quickly healed up. That won't be something we have to worry about. Okay, so this guy is stuck in Overwatch. The biggest problem with this hero is she has a nice, powerful single attack. Which, you know, is nice. But has the problem that it, you know, does far less damage than Enemy repeating down. repeating attacks do. I think this is gonna end me uh, recording videos today. Some idiot drilling away somewhere. Very annoying. Well, this is what happens when you live in a block of flats. Shoot him. They never oh. stood a chance. Nice. Sixty nine research. That's not bad at all. It's in fact quite a nice bonus. What is this? Unidentified forces detected. Well, I guess we better go over there and explore it. Okay, I need one more colonist. How long is that going to take? Three rounds. Try and produce as much food as possible. Okay. Three turns. Seems like a while, but I guess it will do. Okay, so that will be done. Hey, they attacked me instead. Saves me some effort. Operations it? available. weird terrain. This seems to be like some sort of monorail thing or whatever. But surely they're a bit too close to each other. Okay. What do we got?
Okay, for some reason we have droids being led by a hopper hound. Single action, 21 damage. Oof. Kills refill one action point once per turn. Okay, that sounds quite unpleasant. Let's see if we can obtain this high ground position here. Okay, this is probably the wrong unit to have there, actually. Do what you do best, men. All right. So what we have here, if the camera will let me rotate it, is like a really nice high ground position against the enemy. Oh look, it's like a rock slide, a rock ramp. Okay, well that's a hero anyway. Out of range. Overwatch. Out of range? Out of range. Okay, this guy still can watch the ramp. That's good. Is that everybody? Not bad. I've got the hero down to half health. Oh, he's backing away. Okay, so he's got an army set up where his units constantly heal his hero and buff his hero. That's interesting. And I am not giving up my high ground position to go tangle with him, so... Come at me. A lot of these healing abilities and stuff, you're only allowed to use them once per battle, so... Oh, nice. Oh, dude, you're getting wrecked. <laughs> Ooh. Enemy neutralized. <sighs> Mate, that was awful. <laughs> Great for me. Bad for you. Okay, 21 damage blast lasers are still quite scary. Can they be used once per battle? So he's already used... They've already used a lot of these abilities. Anyway, there's obviously no way that I want to go down there and tangle with units that do 21 damage per shot.
Oof. Shoot him. This is very different from last time where I was given a really horrible position. This is like the best enemy eliminated. This is the best position imaginable. <laughs> High ground, cover. The perfect place to put your droid so it can heal everybody. I see that the AI has decided that it likes that spot. Since it can hide. Nanites. 48. Go for it. That extra chance to hit is really helping me out here. Enemy neutralized. Hot goes the pug. My melee units are not going to be seeing much action in this fight, it would seem. Where are you going? Well, he did actually hit a unit that's not being healed. Our forces are victorious. That was one sided. Who thought that pug units could turn so feral? That heirloom belonged to my father. My father died many years ago in a work accident. You have my full support, sweet! Paragon faction demand. That's annoying. Gain 25 reputation, 5 favor. I suppose you could almost consider this to be like a forced purchase in a way, because I mean you can convert reputation into um, into purchases of units. I'll live with it for now. I don't want to make any enemies. Is it still listing me as taking three turns to uh, grow? No, two. Okay. Engineering core. Before me were the brightest minds of my generation. They were destined to change the world. All I could think was, finally, kindred souls, nerds. Rachel Mannix, IT training corp. Okay, so the shotgun is, like, the more powerful weapon. 
but it uh, has greater accuracy drop off from what I can tell than rifles. Let's move up the tree and get some tanks. I like the idea of tanks. Potential colony location. There's a heal station there which I don't even need. There's some bugs guarding... Oh sweet! Colonists! Perfect! That's exactly what I need. Okay, that's what we're going to do next. Um, and then I can also queue up a colony truck. Okay, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time.